you really want the free 93 overall Matthew Barzell card, but the moments are just a little too hard for you to complete. In this video, I'm going to show you the easiest way you can complete all the objectives and get this card in your lineup ASAP. So head over to moments, and the very first moment is the easiest one. You're playing on pro difficulty, and all you need to do is score one bottom left corner goal with Matthew Barzell. Three goals and 13 shots are pretty straightforward, so I'm not going to be going over that, only the difficult ones that people seem to be struggling with. The main tip you need to remember is that Matthew Barzell is 93 overall with wheels. He's fast as shit. He's much better than the rest of your players and the teams you're going to be going up against, including the goalies. So to complete this, I did the corner cheese. You want to go into the right corner and just wait for the defenseman to come attack you. Sometimes the center comes, so circle back. And as soon as you pull the defenseman out, you have a clear lane to the net and you just want to bury that bottom left. Here's my second goal. I try doing the cheese again, but I get pinned by the defenseman. I kick it out, wait for Barzell to crash the net, and luckily it goes 5-0. The last goal, Barzell is at the point for some reason, but it doesn't matter. I find him, you snipe, easy peasy. Now we're moving on to moment two. Score top shelf goals with Barzell on all-star difficulty, and you need to get four assists as well. For the top shelf goals, what you want to do is start in your own zone with Barzell. Circle back behind your net. You don't necessarily have to do this, but I like it. And then you just start wheeling with your speed. You should be able to beat all the defensemen and I go in stride deep and snipe. If you don't know how to stride deep, you hold L1 and then move your left stick left or right. The L1 equivalent on Xbox is LB. Another thing to note is you don't have to finish all the objectives in the same game. Just focus on one, in this case the top shelf goals, and then if you can't get the other ones done in the same game, you can just restart it. So we're back in the next game and I'm just showcasing all the goals I score. Start from behind your net, just wheel straight through, stride deep, snipe. There we go, one out of three. Goal two, I actually go into the corner and we're doing the cheese again. They come out, I walk in, snipe. Top right, let's go baby. Since it worked so well on goal two, we're gonna do the same thing again. Go into the corner, circle back, I get stopped. Back in, circle, walk out, snipe. That's it, we done. I know people are struggling with the assists as well. So on this one, I win the draw with Barzell, shoot it, can't score. Clutterbuck picks it up and I know Barzell still touched it. And there we go, he goes in. So you don't have to focus on primary assists either. Secondary assists work just as well. Here I pulled the goalie to let them come within one, so they pulled their goalie towards the end. We let them win the draw, they come in. We have to recover here quick, only 10 seconds left. Luckily, Barzell picks it up. Up to Pelic, he walks in, empty net, we score, and that's assist number four. Empty nets are your best friend, guys. Pull your own goalie, let them come within one. That's two moments done, and we're on to moment number three. This is by far the most difficult one. You're playing on Superstar and you're playing two minute periods, which gives you less time than the last two moments. You also got to score four top left corner goals with Barzell, get five apples, and then take nine between the leg shots. You've made it this far, so there's no way we're stopping now, boys. Let's get it. So if you haven't caught on to the pattern by now, it's the same thing. You're going into the corner, walking out, but this time you're sniping short side. Again, come down the left, circle into the corner, walk out, short side. We scored too early, but now we're in the third and the goalie's making saves like this and I'm pissed. We have to restart, go in, basically have a breakaway, but still, you're circling out, coming back, short side. Now, of course, this isn't the most fun thing in the world. It's actually the worst thing ever, but you want the 93 overall, so you just gotta do it. We finally get our third late in the second short side snipe and shortly after halfway through the third we snipe top shelf again let's go yeah. that's my actual reaction at the time from my controller mic i'd been at it for maybe two and a half hours at this point so it is going to take you two three hours to do here i'm just showing off the between the leg shots i walk in and snipe somehow no idea how that goes in but this is probably the real method. You want to come in on the left side, wheel in, and then just shoot it between the legs there. And now for the apples. And you probably guessed it. With Barzell, we send Bailey. Bailey walks into the corner, circles out, and we shoot far side. For this, you don't have to shoot top shelf, so that's a relief. Same thing, we give it a Letty. Letty walks into the corner, circles out, and he buries far side as well. Here we get lucky with kind of a garbage goal. Barzell walks in. I try the 1T and Lee buries somehow. 
all three off the draw. I actually just skated straight in with Letty. And let me tell you, this is the only time this worked. I tried so many times afterwards and it nothing. I got nothing. Here we have assist number four. We find Lee behind the net, corner, circle out. And wow, it trickles in 5 -0. So guys, the worst thing happens. We're one assist away and Barzell gets a penalty with a minute 30 left. And what a garbage penalty it was. So now we have to let them score. We pull our goalie with 50 seconds left. This gets Barzell out of the box, but it's a tie game. We're no longer going to get the easy empty net finish and I'm sweating. So with 15 seconds left, we find Barzell. We try wheeling. He gets hit. He recovers, holds onto the puck. Circles out again, into their zone from the left, finds Bailey and he scores! Go! Yeah. That's what's up, baby. That's what's up. Again, that's my real-time reaction. This has been three hours I've been going at it and I was just so happy to finish. What a goal, wow. And there we have it, guys. It's time to put Barzell on the squad. So just head over to sets and you'll find him right there. You need 60 collectibles and we got them all. Autofill from collection. Set complete. Let's go. There he is. That sexy motherfucker. Bang, baby. Time to put him on the squad. The card itself is insane. I haven't really messed with the synergies yet, but just looking at the stats, he's got 97 acceleration, 97 speed. You can get that to 99. And look at that defense. And there we go, boys. We're going to put him at first line center for now. I just started Hockey Ultimate Team not even a month ago. It's probably been two or three weeks, and this is the squad I built completely free to play. So if you're interested in that video, I'm going to drop that next. You'll see exactly what I did from opening the very first X Factor Choice Pack to doing sets to doing objectives. I go through it step by step. So if you're interested in starting a brand new team or you just got the game, it's coming. Stay tuned. So there's another method to the madness if for whatever reason you absolutely cannot do the objectives you can actually buy the pack for 375,000 coins. It comes with 93 overall Matthew Barzell, 15 bonus players and a power up collectible but please guys don't spend money. And lastly let's say you're struggling with one of these for example you can't get the 5 assists but everything else is done all you need is 12 more flashback collectibles. You can trade in gold players for collectibles. So right here, 288 overall players are going to net you 18 collectibles and so on. There's a bunch of them. Go check them out. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace.